Nibiru channel. Today I want to discuss with you Nibiru's arrival and the possible pole shift. This is actually not a possibility. This in fact will definitely happen. The map you're looking at now and the map that is coming up are renditions of what the United States will look like after tsunamis and tidal waves hit all of our coastal land. These maps have been in circulation for quite some time through the United States Naval Intelligence and prominent Edgar Cayce. Edgar Cayce was a foreseer, a psychic in a sense. He wrote out and depicted the earth in his own drawings of what it would look like after this cataclysmic event. The map you're looking at now will be the remnants of South America. And as you can see, tidal surges of water will infiltrate that continent. Moving on to Europe, well, let's just say Europe will cease to exist. There will be very little land mass left available. Moving on into Russia and China. Now, Russia will not have that much tidal surge or damage. However, all of the coastal regions of China and Asia will definitely suffer damage. We've already been undergoing some very severe changes in our weather patterns. That is an absolute fact. Our jet stream has also changed significantly over the past four years. That is also a fact. The Earth is already tilting. That is why we are undergoing such changes in our weather. And all of this is due to the approaching Nibiru planetary system. This is possibly what the Earth will look like after a pole shift. The equator may run directly through the middle of the United States once it is tilted. We will undergo massive tidal waves that will destroy every coastal community in the entire world. There is absolutely no doubt the devastation will come quickly and tens of millions of people will die instantly. This is also a fact. Other cataclysmic events will occur and we will not be able to stop them. These tidal waves will surge inward and destroy all metropolitan cities along the United States and every country abroad. These tidal waves will be 300, maybe 500 feet high, and they will last for days. The Earth will stop rotating temporarily. On top of the tidal waves, we're also going to suffer very, very severe earthquakes. These earthquakes will be at a magnitude 10, possibly 11 and 12, and they will go on for days. The catastrophic destruction will be immense. Roads will be impassable. That is all a fact. Buildings will just crumble. They will fall to the ground. Seeking a safe place to ride out all of these cataclysmic events is almost impossible. The earthquakes have already started in very, very fast frequency around the world. That is also a fact. Volcanic activity around the world has been increasing over the past several years. Once the volcanoes start to erupt because of all of the pressure being placed on the tectonic plates, we will suffer from the volcanic ash circulating around the earth. That is also a very severe fact. It will block out the sun for possibly a few months. And last but not least will be the meteor crisis. When we travel through the tail of Nibiru, we will probably see approximately four, maybe five days of nonstop meteor events crashing into the earth, some of them the size of automobiles. The end is near, but it doesn't have to be the end. 
you have to prepare. There is definitely a chance for survival and mankind will go on. This time is your time for survival. Make sure you share all of our videos with all of your friends and family on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to our Nibiru channel and keep your eyes in the skies. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nibiru channel. Today I want to discuss with you Nibiru's arrival and the possible pole shift. This is actually not a possibility. This in fact will definitely happen. The map you're looking at now and the map that is coming up are renditions of what the United States will look like after tsunamis and tidal waves hit all of our coastal land. These maps have been in circulation for quite some time through the United States Naval Intelligence and prominent Edgar Cayce. Edgar Cayce was a foreseer, a psychic in a sense.